It's of a Cherokee rite of passage. Young men that were coming of age in a tribe were called upon to execute one challenge to make that passage. The challenge was that they would be taken out in the middle of the wilderness, sat on a stump, <clears throat> blindfolded, and would have to remain there motionless without crying, without fear, and without removing that blindfold for the duration of a night. A certain young man was of age and it was his time to make this rite of passage. So the village elders took him out in the wilderness and put him on the stump that he was to sit on all night, motionless, blindfolded him and said he could remove the blindfold when the sun pierced through the next morning. Well, so be it that a storm kind of rolled through that area that evening and the wind howled and whistled and every noise made him kind of jump inside but he remained motionless and still he didn't wince he didn't budge and he didn't remove the blindfold he made it through the night it was cold as the sun rays started coming through that little piece of cloth that had blinded his eyes he knew he had made it as he removed the blindfold, he was shocked to see, sitting right next to him on the ground, quiet and still, armed it to the teeth, his dad. He didn't know he was there, but his dad stood there as a protector through the night on his rite of passage. And it got me to thinking how much that's like God in our lives. We can't see him because we're blindfolded by the eyes of mortality can't really see that spirit world but we have to trust this rite of passage not shake not be fearful persevere through all the wind and the scary noises and the things that go around on us knowing he's sitting right there can't see him but he's there if we let him and trust him right